So welcome to the video lecture on analysis and interpretation of rainfall data part 1. So once we have the rainfall data that we collected from either the recording or the non-recording rain gauge, so this data, rainfall data can be expressed or displayed in the form of a hydrograph or a mask. So hydrograph. Hydrograph is nothing but a plot of intensity of rainfall against the time interval as you can see in this figure. When I say intensity, basically it means how intense the rainfall is, how many centimeter or millimeter per hour or per day or per minutes. That is what is now. That is what is intensity. So generally the rainfall intensity it progressively increases until it reaches a maximum and then gradually decreases. So this uh, graph it shows the intensity in millimeter per hour. It is because the data is obtained from the recording rain gauges which give us the continuous amount of rainfall. So if the data had been collected from a non-recording non rain gauge, then we will have the daily value of intensity. So in that case, we will have millimeter per day. So as you can see here in our number, and in the first hour, the rainfall was around 10 mm. Then the second hour, it was around maybe more than 10 mm. And so on, maybe at around 11 hour, the rainfall is around 80 mm. So this is the hydrograph. It shows you the how the intensity rainfall intensity varies with time. So now let's talk about the mass curve. Mass curve it show you the accumulated depth of rainfall with time. So with uh, hydrograph we saw the representation of rainfall intensity with time. However, in mass curve it show you how much depth has accumulated from the starting of the particular rain um, until it ends. Uh, say from this graph, you'll see that at around 30 minutes, we have about 20 uh, 2 centimeter of rain. So then from 20 to 30 minutes, we have 1 centimeter of rain. However, in this graph, it will represent as 3 centimeter of rain. That is, it will keep adding the previous amount of rainfall. So this curve is always increasing because it tells us the accumulated uh, mass of rainfall. So for a recording type of rain cages, we don't have to pre prepare this curve because it directly gives us the accumulated depth. However, for a non-recording type of rain cage, we have to prepare this type of curve. So uh, the thing that you have to look from this curve is then, if you, uh, you look from this curve, you'll have an idea that uh, for instance, what time where there is no rain? What time where the other uh, storm started, the second storm started? And so And the second most important thing from this curve is that it tells you the intensity of rain. So wherever the slope is the largest, the intensity of rain is very high. And when it is flat, then it shows that almost there is no rainfall in that particular time period.